we'll do a little more formal introduction later but we are going on another adventure it's hot it's uh, August 14th I think and we are going down to Echo Bluff State Park we've got uh, everything ready to go we're not leaving till later after my daughter gets off work and she gets our grandkids I charged the battery I think our inverter is bad so I might have to change that out but I picked up some new mirrors at a garage sale these uh, I've never used them so we'll see how they work if I can see better around the R pod but uh, all gassed up we're not taking our bikes or anything like that uh, it's supposed to be hot tomorrow so we're just gonna go down to the little creek there and sit in the creek and stay cool well, at 6.43 we arrived at camp. We're all set up. Uh, Kathy's inside making supper. It is a little warm this evening. But uh, what is odd is we got the same exact camp spot that we did last time. Uh, and that was over a year ago. We, uh, last year we had our gazebo. Our gazebo isn't working. I, the little pole that holds it up, it broke out. So we're gonna get us a new one. Um, probably this fall uh, we're gonna go ahead and get a clam they're a little more expensive but now we know why we went a little cheap and it didn't last but two maybe three two or three seasons I don't know State Park we're doing our traditional evening walk uh, we got here about 6 30 all set up I already told you we're in the same exact spot we were last year the odds of that are slim to I, I mean I just didn't know I just said whatever site guess what it's the same site we've been on before so. so it's cooled off nicely it was a little warm when we were setting up yeah lots of people say it's just a bunch of concrete there's not much shade and because there's not much trees and that's true because it's another park they planted trees but they're not uh, very tall yet so it is very sunny we'll have to come back in 10 years whoever checked us in like here when we we checked in online but we, when you pull in then they ask you if you checked in online which <laughs> i don't know why but anyways she was the sweetest lady just like a sweet old grandma looking lady and sweet as can be we normally don't encounter that, uh, I guess, that sweetness. Or yeah, something. that, that niceness or whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, I mean, she was so nice. She acted like, like she was happy to I see know, us. I wanted to ask her what her name was and like bring her a gift or something. She was just genuinely, you could tell, nice. So the host this time, whoever's here, they're doing a fantastic job or whoever the, the lady is. Now this, uh, this park was booked out. When did you book this? Um, six months ago, right when I could. Yeah, six this, months ago. This, uh, it's August 14th, and uh, it books out fast. Yes. Like you have to know in plenty of time. And now that Missouri has a year that you can book the state parks, it makes it even harder. Yeah, so I'd you have like to, like, to really plan. I'd like to come down here Sorry. sometime in the middle of uh, October when all the leaves change colors. But uh, I think that'll have to be a day trip for me. Yeah, it's a nice park. It is nice. I mean, there's no pool here. You can, the kids are riding bikes, but I don't know. It's just, but there's the water and the river, and that's what. I want to go down there and check out our site for tomorrow. We're going to go. The look, trail's over there, there, isn't it? Yeah. Because we're not going to go on a they float offer trip. Float trips, like you can call places all around here. But because we have our dog and Piper, I don't, I just don't like to leave her like all day doing something like that. I don't feel comfortable doing that. So we are just going to go down to the river and uh, just play in the water tomorrow. So we're gonna go check out a site, a spot. Uh, Cause last time we came, we didn't know what to do. So this time, and that's what's kind of nice about going to uh, park the second time. Cause you kind of sort of know what you want to do and what to do. So we're gonna go check out maybe a spot for they have a sign here of the times 
It says, welcome park visitors. Maintain six, at least six foot distance from others. So, that may be hard to do tomorrow. People drive all the way down here for just the day too. So it's not just the campers. So uh, Kathy took us four wheeling now. <laughs> Instead of just taking Instead of a... walking on the bridge, I decided to, let's just make a path or cut through and we walked through the water. Across. We walked through, we crossed the water. Crossed now the we're, water. Now we're walking on this long gravel bank. Lots of rocks. It's okay. Piper loves it. She's having a good time. She liked that water crossing. Yeah, she did. I'm looking for pictures in the morning. The sun comes up over behind me. And there's a big tree right here that might make a good picture. Oh yeah, there you go, see? You would miss this if I wanted to go on an adventure. No, I've been down here before. That's why we're called Photo Pot Adventures, because we always just go on adventures. Yeah, Never right, know. right. Never know where Twist an ankle, break a leg here. Missouri, Southern Missouri grows good Fresh rocks. Shoes. Yeah, and I'm wearing, wearing my Crocs, which aren't the best shoes to hike in. Oh, they're not. You are right. I think we're almost there. Oh, there's people. Piper? Piper, come. Come. We'll go up come. this way. I think there's a trail up here. I'll show you Echo, Echo Bluff, if you remember last year's come video. Piper. Piper, come, come here. Come. This is the bluff behind us here beautiful area so kathy took us down to the bluff piper swimming again and there's the bluff I don't know how much of us you can see. It's a pretty trail. They got stamped leaves on the trail. It's pretty. This it's is a lit beautiful up. park. I don't know of any other one that's lit up. The walkway, the bridge, anyway, it's lit up with these uh, leaves that stamped across it. Stenciled in. Yeah, that is beautiful. So there was a concert tonight. Yeah, it's kind of boring. Was an amphitheater, which is kind of neat though that they offer that though. Tomorrow night they're supposed to have a concert too, so yeah. we might go back. Kind of neat to see. I don't think we've ever been here walking outside at nine o'clock at night, so kind of neat to do that too. It's past our bedtime. It's past our bedtime. I may get up at 12:30 and go try to Crazy. take star pictures. I think we'll go back to the campsite and have some dessert. Yeah, and I think I'll sleep in. I may get, get up. Early. I yeah. may get up before sunrise too. I don't want to go down to the bluff because I've shot that at sunrise and I don't think we're going to have any beautiful clouds in the morning so I don't know where I'm going to go for sure. I think Piper and I will go to our bed and stay in bed. Uh, Piper usually goes with me in the morning. Yeah. I don't want to take her tonight though. Did you hear we all did, the kids? Yeah. We did hear, or did hear, did see a skunk on the trail. Oh, we did. That could have been a bad situation like its tail was raised and we're gonna run out of light here so oh, that would have been awful it was scary later uh, because we have Piper our dog with us we're not gonna do a float trip there's a lot of people uh, gonna float on the current river today there's a lot of canoe and kayak companies that pick people up here at the campground and take them on float trips but it's usually an all-day thing we didn't want to leave our dog alone all day so we're just gonna go down the river and play today my plans in a little bit is to make a little brunch. We're going to have some blueberry pancakes and uh, then go down the river. And then I'm not sure what we're going to do the rest of the day. Well, here's where we are. Kathy's blown up her little floaty. People are showing up. We got down here. We're kind of in a little secluded area. Piper's up in the shade already. You got dirt on your nose. The bridge going over to the lodge. Okay, Kathy's blowing up the tube real big. 
she wants to float. She's right beside you. <laughs> blue down there. Yeah, right where these uh, the it drops off. <laughs> Girl, you gotta come back this way. There you go. Come on, you can make it. Come on. Record her coming in. Come on. Good girl. Come on, girl. Come on. Good girl. Piper is too. She's back there napping, I think. So there's little fishies in the creek here. Cool water. Nice cold water. Yeah. And everybody's down below us. So. Kind of drifting by. Just Chilling. <laughs> Doing what we do the best. Doing nothing. Perfect day. Mm -hmm. Oh, finally joined me in her seat. <laughs> She's been splish splashing around on her little floaty here. Got a floaty bit. Tell them where you got the floaty. I know, we were driving down the road and got yeah, my side of the road. <laughs> so we just stopped and picked it up. And we had to turn around. We had the camper around. with us. That is a big one. I yeah, thought it was a different kind. So it will get replacement. Me not yet. It's a little leak though. Yeah. Which maybe that's why it was on the side of the road. Probably they said throw that thing out. Throw that out. Oh, it has a leak in it. Let it go. Well, it's uh. Sunday morning and it's time to start packing up we noticed that when we drove around the camp that uh, um, everybody looks like they're marked for the 16th to leave which happens to be today and it was a beautiful weekend the weather's really not bad today we've got about a I don't know two hour if that trip back to home but we like it down here it's a beautiful park Thank mm -hmm. you. 